Hello and welcome to Wheat and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform, praise God. This is the end of day five of 21 of our submission fast. Hallelujah. It is the end of day five, praise God. So this is where we come together and we take communion. Praise God. We come together and we honor God. We come together still consecrating to the Lord. We come together, hallelujah, in unity with our mind focused on Jesus Christ. I'm just so grateful that you're joining me today. If you are new to the channel, welcome, praise God. This is a place where we move in the things of God. We consecrate to Jesus Christ. And we listen to the Holy Spirit, which means that we are obedient vessels. We are ones who follow the trajectory that God has laid out for us. We are listeners of God. Understand, we listen to what the Lord has to say, praise God. And because we are good listeners, we do what he tells us to do here, praise God. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, come on to this side, praise God. It's the Wayne team. Go ahead and get to know him in the mighty name of Jesus. Confess with your mouth. Hallelujah. Make him your Lord and Savior, praise God. Welcome to the family. When you cross over, come on through the doorway of Jesus Christ into the body of Christ and begin to take suit. Begin to stand on your post in which God has given you and whatever ministry and whatever capacity that he gives you to go ahead and move through and move forward, praise God. Just know that your doctrine that you will profess with your mouth will be Jesus Christ because we're all witnesses of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We just thank the Lord this today, praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this good, good day. You have given us grace today, hallelujah, for this is the fifth day of the eighth month, praise God, hallelujah. Eight meaning new beginnings, praise God, hallelujah. Thank you for the new beginnings. Thank you, hallelujah, for the grace today. Thank you for your presence, hallelujah, all around us. We're so grateful for the rise. We're so grateful in the elevation. We're so grateful for the hunger that you are placing inside of us for you. We're so grateful that you're drawing us closer to you, Father. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We're so grateful, Jesus, hallelujah. We're so grateful for you. We're so grateful that you sacrificed everything just for us. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that you are our great shepherd, that we get to move in your, your ways, oh Lord, that we get to do the things that you did, oh Lord, hallelujah, and greater things than those, praise God. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that we're more than a conqueror through, through you. We're so grateful that your blood speaks and it washes us clean. We're so grateful, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, that you are king of kings and you are holy. We're grateful that you meet us where we are that you encounter us, praise God, that you call us by name, praise God, hallelujah. We're so grateful, oh Lord, that even when you call us, you love us so much, praise God, and you'll never leave us or forsake us. You have a purpose for our life, and we just pray right now that all of us are aligned to the purpose and that we don't miss anything that you have for us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you for this day five of consecration, of submission unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and dive on in. So when reading Zacchaeus um, in chapter 19, reading about him, uh, I went back to verse 8 where it says, Zacchaeus stopped and said for and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much, praise God. And we know that today's message has been confess with your mouth. And this is what Zacchaeus did in the presence of Jesus Christ. He confessed with his mouth to his Lord, praise God, Jesus, of the possible things that he'd done, possible defrauding, praise God. But he was ready to repay back up to four times of what he took, hallelujah. But also that he said he would give to the poor. Why is that important? Because we know that when we give to the poor, it's just like giving to God. And God repays us for that because he knows that the poor cannot repay us, praise God. See, when you give to somebody, hallelujah, let's say you give something to somebody on their birthday and then for your birthday they give you something, praise God. You get your reward there because they can give it back to you, hallelujah. So you shouldn't be expecting God to give you more, right? Many people probably do, but the truth of the matter is you're giving to someone who can give it back. 
But when you give it to somebody who can't, praise God, when you give it to a poor person, somebody in need, hallelujah, the Bible tells us that that's just like giving it to Jesus Christ. That's just like giving it to God. You understand? And so God will repay you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know how God repays. We know that it is a, a high payment, praise God, hallelujah. It is a return payment, praise God, that it has increased, that has, um, praise God, hallelujah. Yes, has increased, hallelujah, extended, praise God, enlarged, whatever you want to use to describe it, but it's definitely more than what you put in. And always think about that, praise God, when you are giving, just you're giving to Jesus, and you should want to give to Jesus. That's the only way you could possibly Give to him, praise God. He has everything. But if you want to give unto him, give unto the poor, praise God. The Bible speaks of it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I believe it. I believe it. And I pray that you do too. And so the Lord, as I reread this, as, as instructed by the Holy Spirit, to go and reread uh, verse 8. The word that stood out, the word that stood out was recompense. Now, recompense isn't in this scripture. It's not in here. But the example of recompense is, and what is that example? Where he says, I, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much. See, because he was in the presence of Jesus Christ, because he was confessing with his mouth, and because he was getting right in that moment, praise God. Do you understand? He was turning around, praise God. He was then, his heart was then turned to repay, repay those, praise God, that were taken advantage of, repay those that were defrauded, praise God, hallelujah. Many of you have been praying for recompense because you've been defrauded, that you were taken advantage of. Somebody took your money, praise God, hallelujah, and tried to really uh, uh, strip you of everything, praise God. But the Lord is letting you know today it's recompense season. It's going to be returned unto you. All you have to do is just believe it, praise God. Get in the presence of the Lord because you're consecrating anyway. So you're in the presence of the Lord. Go ahead and pray. Speak to the Lord. Let him know your heart. Hallelujah. But you have to believe it without a doubt. You have to go into the prayer room believing, praise God. You got to go in believing. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Not start believing when you get there and not having trouble believing after you leave. You know, because sometimes, praise God, when you start believing in there, then as soon as you leave, you know how the enemy try to come up and snatch every single thing that God has poured out to you to try to get you to uh, detour off the trajectory that God has given you, the directions that God has given you. So you now don't want to necessarily believe wholeheartedly what God has shown you because you're looking at everything that's temporal around you. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you today that the Lord is letting you know that many have been defrauded and it's going to be recompense for you, praise God. Hallelujah. If you're one of those who have been defrauded, if you're one of those who have been taken advantage of, the Lord is letting you know it's recompense for you, praise God. It's recompense season. Praise him, honor him, glorify him, and believe him, praise God, because it's a believing season that we're in. You understand? When we consecrate to God, that means that we are this, We are in a believing season, praise God. We are going to believe what God said. We are not going to doubt it, and we're going to move forward, and I pray promise you hallelujah i've seen it happen in my life over and over and over and over again hallelujah it will happen hallelujah it will happen praise god hallelujah this is where you you in, in, increase that faith praise god because it's really not you increasing it it's your it's your experiences with god is god increasing these things in you praise god through your experiences and in order for you to have great faith, you must have been through some great things. Hallelujah. That's how I view it in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God for what he's doing in this season. Hallelujah. So that was what I uh, gained uh, additionally from going back and rereading its recompense. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if we just sit and we dive into scripture and we really pick it apart, praise God, not on our own, but with the Holy Spirit showing us these things and really seeing the examples and how it applies to our life, we will get so much more. We will get so much more of a meal out of scripture, praise God. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord of what he's doing in this season. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and take communion. This is day five. Congratulations for accomplishing day five, y'all. Hallelujah. We're moving right along. I have my cracker, praise God. We're going to be reading out of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And I have my scriptures. All right, let's go ahead and begin. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, 
that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Okay. Thanking you, God, for the bread. For as often as you eat this bread and think. Oh, let me go back, y'all. Let me skip the whole section. Praise God. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as often as you eat this bread and drink of the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in, in, in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a, in a number sleep. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God, for the, for the um, communion, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the bread. We thank you for the blood covenant, oh, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for being the sacrificial lamb, for us being here today, remembering you, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. May we all be worthy to take communion today, Lord God. If there was anything in us, oh, Lord God, hallelujah, where anything that is not pleasing to you, Lord God, uprooted, Lord God, discarded, Lord God, hallelujah, forgive us, oh, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, pardon our sins, oh, Father God, because we want to be worthy of consumption of this, hallelujah, communion. We thank you, Lord God, for the gathering today, for every single person who has come together today to praise you, to honor you to glorify you oh lord god we thank you lord god hallelujah for the walk you have bestowed upon us we thank you lord god hallelujah for the instructions and the assignment that you have given us i pray to every single person who is on this path of fasting as they are consecrated that they are on their post oh lord god that they are being obedient to your call and your instructions that they're doing exactly what you are saying for them to do oh lord god they're not missing anything hallelujah and they're not missing anyone praise god that every single person that you're bringing on their path lord god for whatever reason lord god that they will be obedient to what you're asking them to do father god we're so grateful for your love we're so grateful for your compassion we're so grateful that you chose us oh lord god you called us to this appointed time today in the mighty name of jesus so we can praise you and honor you and glorify you so right now oh lord god we praise you hallelujah you are holy you are righteous and you are sovereign you are everything to us. Hallelujah. You are the chief cornerstone, the great shepherd. Hallelujah. We love you, master. Praise God. Hallelujah. We love you, master. You are our teacher. Hallelujah. You are our great teacher, our rabbi. Praise God. We thank you so much for being so good to us. We thank you so much for being concerned about us. We thank you so much for hearing our prayers. Hallelujah. We give you holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. We give you the holy, 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 holy praise, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give it back to you. Oh, Lord God, anything that is in our hands that does not belong in our hands, but belong to yours and in yours. Hallelujah. We give it to you today, oh Lord God. Anything that's in our heart, oh Lord God, that we're holding on to, Lord God, we release it today, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For we only want to be one with you. We only want to move with you. We only want to walk with you. We only want to do what you have called us to do, oh Lord God. We only want to think what you want us to think. We only want to hear what you want us to hear. Hallelujah. We only want to move by your rhythm, by your grace. We only want to be in the presence of you, Lord. We only want to move. We only want to sit. We only want to lay in your presence, oh Father God. Wherever you are, Lord God, that's where we want to be. Wherever you are, that's where we want to be. We know that the Holy Spirit dwells in us. But whatever, wherever you are, wherever those holy places are, Praise God, where you love to dwell, oh Lord, hallelujah, whether it's businesses, churches, Lord God, hallelujah, uh, 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 physical land sites, oh Lord God, hallelujah, anywhere where you are that you love to hover, Lord God, where you love to dwell, hallelujah, that's where we want to be, where the angels are ascending and descending from heaven, Lord God, that's where we want to be. 
We want to be in the midst of signs, miracles, and wonders. We want to be in the midst of your goodness. We want to be in the midst, hallelujah, of every single thing that you're pouring out. We want to be in the midst of the blessings of the Lord. We want to be in the midst, hallelujah, of everything that you are. Hallelujah. That's your holy presence, Father God. We want to be in the midst of it because we know that when we're in the midst of you, oh Lord God, we have everything we need. We thank you, we love you, we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And I pray to every single person who's done this fast today, who's accomplished it, completed it, consecrated in you, and prayer and meditation. Hallelujah. And eating healthy. They are continuously blessed, Lord God. Hallelujah. For just obeying you, Father God. I'm just praying and lifting them up in prayer, Lord God. That they will continue to be strengthened by your angels, Father God. That you will continue to send them out on their missions strong, confident, Lord God, hallelujah, giving them the exact tools that they need to be, hallelujah, what you call them to be. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining me. Peace and blessings until next time. When is next time? 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. That's day six, y'all. We'll be here, hallelujah, praising the Lord, honoring him, consecrating submitting to the Lord. When we submit, we know that we're yielding. And that means that we're no longer steering these vessels ourselves, but the Holy Spirit has taken over to take us exactly where we need to go in this realm called earth, because there are things that we're supposed to do, supposed to accomplish, praise God, hallelujah, by the hand of God. Why is that? Because God has already written our book in heaven. We have things that we're supposed to accomplish, people we're supposed to touch, things we're supposed to do, heal, create, whatever it is, produce, hallelujah. The Lord is bringing it forth in this season. Please adhere to his call. Listen, be obedient, bring it to fruition, praise God, hallelujah. And if you feel like you're stuck and you can't do it, ask the Holy Spirit to help you because that's what he's here for, to help us, hallelujah. All right, y'all, peace and blessings until next time. I love you with the love of Christ. Talk to you soon.